keep on crying. Because these are the worst fucking nominations I've ever seen in Grammy history. And I cannot believe they did this bullshit. Where the fuck is Rihanna? Can she just drop an album? Because I can't. I just cannot. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back. Your boy, Eugene Smiles. And it is 2020. Happy New Year to everybody. Your family, your friends. Don't start that New Year, New Me bullshit. Because that shit don't ever work. Well, if you want to make a change, make a change right now. Y'all should have made the change when you thought about it last year. Not said you're going to wait January 1st. But I ain't going to start preaching. Uh, You know what time it is. It's the beginning of the year. So it is Grammy season. This is my third time. My third year doing a Grammy predictions video and i'm gonna tell y'all this has been the hardest one i've done thus far but before we get started make sure y'all like share subscribe ug smiles on everything instagram facebook twitter all of that so let's get into this first of all i i said what i said this is the probably the worst set of nominees ever or in a while because they probably done this really they probably done this kind of crap before. Um, and it's not saying that everybody nominated shouldn't be nominated, but I feel like a lot of the people that are nominated in certain categories shouldn't be in those certain categories. Um, and the biggest, my biggest issues is, so, you know, at one point, I think it was last year, there weren't a lot of women nominated in huge categories. Or maybe that was two years ago. And the Grammy chairman said, the Grammy chair... <laughs> Rocco is knocking at the door and I'm about to cuss him out. Go to bed. The Grammy chairman said women need to step up. Um, and he's no longer the Grammy chairman. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You have to sit down. You gonna come in here and sit down? Nah, they yelling. <sighs> Tara, sit. Thank you. They're gonna have to sit down. You too, Rocco. All right. So he's no longer the Grammy chairman. Um, they have a woman there, and they also have a black male there too. So I'm pretty sure there was stuff, something going on with race. I don't. I don't know. Whatever. But. So they decided to take the big categories this year and put in minorities, not just minorities, but like minority, minority, minorities. And if you get what I'm saying, you know who I'm about to say. Little Nas X and Lizzo are nominated in the top four categories. Album of the year, song of the year, record of the year, and best new artist. Now hear me out. I like Little Nas X. I like Old Town Road and one of the remixes the original remix and i liked a couple songs off of his seven ep i really like lizzo i love her performances i got to see her live at midtown music fest here in atlanta i wish i liked her music more but i do like a couple of her songs i like good as hell and i like truth hurts but their albums their albums should not have been nominated in those categories not for best urban contemporary album not for uh album of the year i mean lil nas x ep is not that good overall he has a couple songs but no but do you know why they were nominated lil nas was nominated because he's a black gay male that came out this year that's why that album was nominated it's and it's really an ep so it wasn't really no it shouldn't have been nominated lizzo's album um, because I love you, I think her album is trash. And anybody that's like, oh my god, how could you say that? The hit songs that she had were from her previous EPs, and they threw those on the deluxe version of her album because they wanted the sales to go up. So the song that y'all been listening to weren't even originally on this album that came out. So y'all weren't even listening to this album. And she performed Jerome at the AMAs. And y'all not even listening to that song because that song ain't doing anything compared to what her other two songs are doing. So y'all think the album trash too, but y'all not also gonna y'all not gonna say it. 
but nominating her her and Lil Nas X were was like some political strategic moves to make sure that the Grammys appears to be very inclusive of not only you know just having the white male nominated and the white female but you got to have the black a uh, female who's also fat because that's the thing she's doesn't have the the uh preferred quote unquote preferred body type of uh mainstream america and the young gay black boy so that's why one of the reasons why i'm saying this is probably the worst set of nominees and i feel like they could have nominated other people who actually had good albums this year instead of nominating them because of who they are but as you know, we're gonna go through all the nominees. If y'all haven't already turned the video off because y'all mad or y'all in the comments, whatever. We're gonna go through all the nominations of the major categories, uh, the hip hop categories, pop categories, and R&B categories, and a couple of the other categories to go through. I'm gonna give my opinion. If you watched my video last year, you know I got a lot of them things right. I got a lot of them right. This year, I don't know, because either it's a very hard category, where there's a lot of good people or it's a category where everybody's kind of not good. So I don't, I don't know. So we're gonna start off with the pop category. This is a, <laughs> this was so weird. So best pop solo performance, Beyonce Spirit, uh, Billie Eilish, Bad Guy, Seven Rings, Ariana Grande, Truth Hurts by Lizzo, and You Need to Calm Down by Taylor Swift. Spirit, I'm sorry, be Beehive. Spirit is trash. I'm sorry that when I first heard that song, I thought it was trash. When I seen it in the movie, I thought it was trash. Um, what was the Beyonce song? Uh, better. Um, God, off the uh, what is the song? Come home. She had better songs on her Beyonce on that Lion King album than Spirit. I hated Spirit. It sounded like one of those songs that you would make when you want to win an award an oscar nomination or golden that's what it sounds like and that's exactly she's got nominations that's exactly what she did i i think spirit is trash halo which she won in this category for halo years ago halo is the shit spirit is trash um bad guy billy eilish let's go let me let me roll back real quick so every year there is a nominee or a couple of nominees who have maybe six to eight six or more nominations that does not win anything they did that shit to fucking rihanna even though she deserved that shit grammys let me tell y'all something i'm still mad at y'all about that and all, all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna chill because r9 is coming hopefully it's coming soon but let y'all do that shit in 2021 it's gonna be me and you it's gonna be the navy and y'all we're gonna be we're gonna be in the building grammys 2021 and if rihanna don't walk out with at least three of them things it's gonna be hell on earth you hear me it's gonna be hell on earth and the iranians they already said they're not fucking with us they, they, they try to get trump in the white house so we're gonna be here we're gonna be here we're gonna be there 2021 i'm not playing with y'all all right but they did that shit to rihanna they did that shit to india Irie one year they did that shit to post malone uh, i think post malone might have been last year or the year before so it's always gonna be um that person that's not gonna win anything and i have three people who i think is gonna be that i think is gonna be it's either gonna be either going to be either or it might be all three of them shit it, it's either gonna be lil nas x lizzo or Billie Eilish. I'll go through the categories and say why they don't win. I feel like Billie Eilish might not win anything because she's so young. And because her music is looked at as pop because it's popular, but it's really alternative pop. And even though it picked up and she was very popular this year, I just feel like they might not be that in tune with her and she might not win because of that reason. Lizzo, I... I don't, them songs are really old, so I don't know how the Academy is going to take to those songs. And Lil Nas X, they really don't always award songs or artists who are really huge, like really commercial. So they might not win. I don't know. But back to this, I don't think Spirit is going to win. Bad guy Billie Eilish has a good chance because it was popular, but I just, I don't know if they're going to be into that because it's so alternative. Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. I have no idea why Seven Rings is even nominated. It should have been Thank You Next. I feel like Thank You Next would have had a easier chance of winning this category. 
Seven Rings is so urban and hip hop ish. I don't know if it can win. Truth Hurts by Lizzo. Even though I don't think Lizzo's gonna win anything that night, she has a good chance at kind of winning this. But the thing is, they have nominated female rap songs because I don't really consider Lizzo a rapper, but. They have nominated female rap songs in this category, like Fancy, uh, Iggy's Fancy was nominated, and they didn't win. So that's kind of the reason why I feel like they won't win. Taylor Swift has a good chance of winning this, just because everybody else has a lot going against them. Um, and Taylor didn't win anything last year for her previous album. So if I have to pick a winner, I would say Taylor would win or Ariana Grande. I think I think the Academy is kind of ready to award Ariana Grande more Grammys, so I'm gonna lean more towards her. But if not Ariana, it's gonna be Taylor Swift. Best pop duo group performance. Boyfriend by Ariana Grande and Social House. Like that song. Sucker by the Jonas Brothers. That song is cool. Lil, uh, Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus. Old Town Road. Sunflower by Post Malone and Sway Lee. And Senorita by uh, Sean Mendez and his girlfriend Camila Gabala. Um, Senorita's gonna be a hell no. Fuck her. I'm not giving her no damn Grammys. I don't think she deserves Grammys. I don't know what her appeal is. I don't know where her talent is. And apparently she's racist. So. And I just don't understand people of color being super racist versus other people of color, but whatever. Maybe she want to be white. Who knows? Uh, Sunflower, huge song from the Spider-Man um, Into the Universe album, I mean, uh, soundtrack. Huge song. I think it has a good chance at winning, but again, it's kind of a hip hop song in a pop category. So that has that working against them. Same, th same thing with Old Town Road. This is a hard category. Uh, sucker, I'm gonna say that it's gonna be the Jonas Brothers. I think the Jonas Brothers, they they had their big reunion with this album, Sucker debut number one. I think the Jonas Brothers are gonna walk away with this win. If not them, Ariana Grande and Social House, because I think they're ready to kind of give Ariana her flowers now when it comes to the Grammys. But I'm gonna put my money on the Jonas Brothers. All right, the next category I'm gonna go over is Best Pop Vocal Album. Again, Beyonce, Lion King, and The Gift. I have no idea why this album is nominated in this category. Why did y'all submit it? Keep in mind, the record labels, the artists, whatever, they submit to certain categories. If you listen to the Lion King Gift album, that is very Afro beats, urban, hip-hop, R&B. That is not a pop album. And it wasn't that popular to be a pop album, so... I'm just very surprised that it's nominated in this category and I don't think it's gonna win. Uh, Billie Eilish, When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? I think it has a good chance at winning because it was such a huge al um, album. And she does, I think she has more of a chance of winning this versus winning a song category um, just because it was a very popular album. Uh, Ariana Grande, Thank You, Next. She won this category last year with Sweetener. I think she has a huge chance of winning this category again, two years in a row. Ed Sharon, number six collaboration project. The album was okay, it was a little all over the place. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't think they're gonna give it to Ed Sharon. I don't think it's his year to win this. And again, Taylor Swift with Lover. Keep in mind last year I said it was Taylor Swift versus Ariana Grande in the same category. I thought that the uh, Grammys was going to give it to Taylor Swift just because of who she was and they gave it to Ariana. So that's why I'm thinking I'm thinking Ariana's going to win this category for a second year in a row, hopefully because I don't want Taylor Swift to win shit again this year. Sorry guys, sorry Swifties, but not sorry. All right, up next is going to be the R&B category. Now this is a hard genre. Um, for me to get through and I was going through trying to make my notes and figure out who I wanted to win or who I think was gonna win I was like some of these I have no idea a lot of them are artists that I don't I I've heard of or listened to a little bit But not a lot I might not have listened to their whole project So I did go through and listen through some of their projects and I was just like some of this shit is good And some of this is just I feel like it's good, but not my taste. So I I'm gonna have to just be throwing shit in the air flipping coins trying to figure out who's gonna win in some of these categories uh, best R&B performance, Love Again by Daniel Caesar and Brandy, the vocal bible. Uh, Could have been by her and Bryson Tiller, one of my favorite.
favorite songs of last year. Uh, exactly how I feel about Lizzo and Gucci Man. No idea why that song is nominated. If you have not heard that song, go to Lizzo's album. Go listen to that song, and you're gonna be like, why is this nominated versus like real R&B songs? It should not win, and it should not win at all. Uh, Roll some more, Lucky Day. I think I heard it, but I can't. I don't know. I heard he, he sang is a good song. I yeah. And come home, Anderson Pack and Andre Three Stack. I did listen to that song. I liked it. I think that the Grammys have developed a special love for her and her music. She won. She was nominated five times last year. She won twice last year. And she's nominated twice. I mean, nominated five times again this year. So I definitely don't think she's gonna leave empty handed. Empty handed. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> and um, I think she's gonna. I think could have been is gonna win, which is. It's a beautiful song. The production is beautiful. It's my favorite song in the category, and I think they have a special place for her. She's definitely kind of built a relationship and she's one of the few like real artists i'm gonna say that because people have different definitions of that she plays instruments she writes songs she sings live all of that i think her is gonna win that category for best r&b performance with bryson tiller for um could have been next is gonna be best traditional r&b performance we got time today bj the chicago kid steady love by andy Ari, jerome by Lizzo. That's exactly how she sounds. Go listen to it. Um, Real Games by Lucky Day <laughs> and Built for Love by uh, PJ Morton and Jasmine Sullivan. Personally, I want Jasmine to get her flowers, even if it is a collaboration. And I want her and PJ Morton to win for their song. I did hear it. Jasmine, of course, sounds amazing. She has a new project coming soon. I want Jasmine to win. Um, I pray to God they don't give it to Lizzo off of name recognition because Jerome, I'm not going to say it's an awful song. It's just not for me. Best R&B song. This goes to the songwriter. So if the artist is not the songwriter, the artist will not win the Grammy. But most of these artists are. <clears throat> Could have been her and Bryson Tiller. Uh, Look at me now. Uh, Emily King. No guidance. Chris Brown and Drake. All right. <laughs> Roll some more. Lucky day. And uh, say so. PJ Morton and JoJo. You know JoJo leave out get out right now she's not a songwriter on the song but she's on that song i personally want could have been to win this category i think it has a good chance at winning this i would say that no guidance with chris brown and drake has a good chance but being that drake got on the stage last year and basically said this grammy doesn't really mean anything i i don't think the grammy voters are gonna give him anything <laughs> it probably never again you don't get on an award show and say the award doesn't mean anything. You can think that because we all know that there's a lot of great artists that have came through that might have been your favorites and might not have been as popular and then never got nominated and never have won an award. But, you know, and so that, you know, that doesn't mean anything for their career. They've still sold records or whatever, but you don't get on the stage and say that. So I, that's one of the reasons I feel like No Guidance might not win, but... Yeah, I'm going to say could have been going to win that. I think her is going to walk out with a couple Grammys this year. Best Contemporary Album. You know, last year the Carters won this. Um, so, State Steve Lacey, Apollo 21, Because I Love You Deluxe. Now, you when you're looking at the nominations, you're going to see Because I Love You Deluxe. You know what the deluxe part is? The deluxe are those old ass songs that we've been listening to all year. Because the music y'all been listening to from her is not from her, not her new music. It's her old music. So they decided to add those songs to her current album and called it Deluxe and submitted that. So yeah, I don't believe she should win because y'all didn't like the original album. Y'all didn't like the old song. They had to add the old songs for them to even pay attention to the current album. Uh, Overload, Georgia, and Myrtle. I listened to, I think this is her. I listened to her album. Actually pretty dope actually a really dope album afro beats check that out uh saturn nano and jesse riz being human in public i think i went through some of their albums they didn't really grab me so 
so I'm going to give this to, um, I'm sorry. I really feel like they're going to give this to Lizzo because most people might not know who everybody else is. And I think Steve Lacey has a familiar, kind of a familiar name. So he has a good chance at winning. I'm going to pray. I wish I had some sage ready. I'm going to pray <laughs> that Steve Lacey gets this over Lizzo because I don't believe Lizzo's album deserves any awards and if it is the bar is low and then best r&b album bj the chicago kid uh 1123 painted by day uh, lucky day lma lma paul pj morton and ventura by anderson pack i think this is a very good category out of this to be honest i listened to lma's album a lot last year she won last year for buddha which was huge um I do think that they might give her this, especially politically, she's the only female nominated in this category. <laughs> so you know how they do. Don't ever think that the Grammys always awards the best albums. It, it just doesn't happen like that all the time. So I think LMA might walk away with this. If not, I'm happy with PJ Morton winning, Anderson Pack winning, the BJ the Chicago Kid winning, and I heard Lucky Day's albums are pretty good. I really don't care, but I think that they're gonna give it to LMA. Up next is the rap category. I'm gonna say this up front. I'm gonna still go through the nominations, but I I personally think that J Cole is gonna sweep the 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 all the the rap category. I think they're gonna sweep the whole rap category. If you don't know, J Cole hasn't submitted his music for Grammys maybe since the first or second album. Um, he lost like best new artist with his first album and was I think he was just like fuck it and all his other projects though they were great they sold they were critically acclaimed he did not submit them to the Grammys and he submitted his work this year um, some of them were collaborations with other people and he also had the Dreamville project so I'm sure he wouldn't do that for them and I think that they're going to be like okay you finally submitted we're going to give you everything that's what I think they're going to do best rap performance middle child J. Cole which was a huge song top 10 for him Suge by the baby, not little baby, not baby, but the baby. Suge was a huge song. Also, uh, Down Bad with Dream with uh, Dreamville featuring uh, JID, Bass, J Cole, Earth Gang, and Young Nudie. Uh, Racks in the middle, Nipsey Hussle, uh, Roddy Rich, and Hit Boy, and Clout Offset and Cardi B. I'm gonna tell y'all now. If y'all already been on my page and see my previous videos, I want. Cardi and Offset to win. One, Cardi's my bitch. Two, Clout was one of my favorite songs, most played songs of the last year. I love that song. She killed that verse. That verse alone deserves a freaking Grammy. But up against J. Cole Middle Child, mm, I don't know. I think they're gonna give it to Middle Child. I want Clout to win. I'll be happy if any one of those wins, but I don't think anybody else stands a chance in that category. Best rap sung collaboration. That means it's rapping and singing. Sometimes sing rapping counts also. So yeah. Uh, higher, DJ Khaled, Nipsey Hussle, and John Legend. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, they're gonna give Nipsey a Grammy because he died. The Grammys really don't care about that when it comes to kind of urban artists. I was going to say black artists, but I'm going to say urban artists because Ray Charles won after he died, even though I think he deserved it. He had a great album out. Um, <clears throat> but like when Leah died, she didn't win any uh, extra Grammys. And um, But when David Bowie died, he got all them Grammys, even the ones where Rihanna should have won. But we're not going to bring that back up again because I'm going to get mad. But um, I don't I, I don't think they're going to win. Uh, Drip Too Hard, A Little Baby and Gunna. Uh, Panini, Lil Nas X. I wouldn't be surprised if Lil Nas X slips in and wins this, even though I don't think he's going to win anything that night. But I wouldn't be surprised. Ballin', Mustard, and Roddy Rich, and <laughs> just meet me at the London. Hey, I think the London is going to win. I already told you, I think J. Cole is going to sweep the rap category. The London was huge. It was one of my favorite songs. It's lit. Young Thug, Travis Scott, J. Cole. I'm going with them for the win. Best rap song. This is of course awarded to the song writers. The songwriters. <clears throat> Bad idea, which is uh YBN Corday. Corday. And Chance the Rapper. I tr I think I went through a listen to something of his, but mm. Gold Roses, which is Rick Ross and Drake. 
a lot. J. Cole and uh, 21 Savage is 21 Savage song. Racks in the Middle, Nipsey Hussle song, and Suge Da Baby. I think they're gonna give this to a lot. A lot was pretty dope song. It had a really dope video. It's J. Cole. I told you I feel like J. Cole is gonna win a lot of Grammys. Uh, probably all the rap Grammys when you know the Grammys come around this year. Second place. I think a lot's gonna get it. Uh, we're gonna go for a lot. 21 Savage is from Atlanta. We know he's not, but from Atlanta, so we're gonna go with that. And it's J. Cole on the song. Best rap album, the category that Cardi B won last year. We have Revenge of the Dreamers, Dreamville, Championships, Meek Mill, I Am is Greater Than I Was, 21 Savage, Ig Igor, <laughs> Igor, Tyler the Creator, and The Lost Boy, YBN Corday. Tyler the Creator got a lot of acclaim with Igor. A lot of people were really surprised that you know it didn't get nominated for album of the year maybe if tyler came out as gay last year it would have gotten nominated for the grammys album of the year because that's what happened with lil nas x but he came out as gay a couple years ago and then released a great album so it didn't fit the political standard they were trying to go with but um i don't know i definitely think it's gonna be this is a hard category uh, i don't think ybn is gonna win I think Igor has a good chance because Tyler got a lot of praise for that album and this is his only nomination so this might be the chance for them to like award him for having a great album. 21 Savage, uh, Meek Mill, uh, I think Dreamville can probably win. I think it's going to be between Dreamville and Tyler the Creator. I told y'all I feel like J. Cole might sweep the category but I won't be surprised if Tyler is nominated. Up next is the big four, top four categories. We're going to start off with best new artists. Of course, new artists doesn't necessarily mean that they came out within the last year, but that they became prominent. They had a lot of success. They were recognizable during the last year. So like, for instance, Lizzo has been out for at least, I think, five years making music and music videos. But this was the year that she had a lot of success. It was recognized. So she's nominated. But we have the Black Pumas, Billie Eilish, Lil Nas X, Lizzo, Maggie Rogers, Rosalia, who I, I think won a couple of the Latin Grammys, uh, Tank and the Bangas, and Yola. Guys, Best New Artist is always a hard category to predict because sometimes they go with somebody that you know, sometimes they go with somebody that you don't know. Now, if we look at the artists that we know, Billie Eilish, Lil Nas X, and Lizzo, who are the biggest artists in this category from this year, they might not give it to them because they usually don't give it to the biggest artists. The year Christina Aguilera was nominated, she was up against Britney Spears, and Britney was bigger than Christina that year, and Christina ended up winning. So, they usually don't give it to the biggest artists. <clears throat> um... I, the, the other name that I heard a lot of was Tank and the Bangers. I've seen a lot of their stuff. Um, I'm not that familiar with their music. They might have a chance to win or they might fuck around and give it to Rose Leo because she's Spanish and she's had a lot of success. So I don't know if they're going to make a political statement by giving it to Rose Leo or Tank and the Bangers. Guys, I have no idea. I'm just going to say Yola. Shit, I don't know. I have no idea. I can't give you a prediction on that one. Song of the Year. Award to songwriters. We have Always Remember Us, that damn Lady Gaga song from fucking A Star Is Born. Yes, I know that shit seemed like it was two years ago, but you know, the album came out for the eligibility period of this year, and the, the first song, Shallow, was out last year for that eligibility period, so it's nominated this year. Always Remember Us, which is a good song. A Bad Guy, Billie Eilish. Bring My Flowers Now, Tanya Tucker, Hard Place by Her. I love that song. Uh, Lover, Taylor Swift, Norman fucking Rockwell, Lana Del Rey, Someone You Love, Louis Kappa, Kappa what? Kappa Lady? I don't know. And Truth Hurts Lizzo. I don't know. I think. I think that they might fuck around and give this to her. Um, 
I wouldn't be surprised. It's a songwriter's award. I wouldn't be surprised if she wins this category. Uh, besides that, I, Lady Gaga has a good chance at winning this category also. Again, Billie Eilish. I don't know if they respect her enough, being that she's so young and so alternative. So I don't know if that they'll if they'll give her that category, um, give her this award. Taylor Swift, I think her days are over of dominating the Grammys, so I don't think she's gonna win. And Lana Del Rey might might have a chance because she got a lot of acclaim for her music this year, even though I find it particularly boring. Um, I find a song here and there, but um, I'm gonna say her. Or possibly Lady Gaga. I don't know. They might be tired of Lady Gaga and the Stars of Morning. She might not win shit. But I'm going to say her or Lady Gaga. But I wouldn't be surprised if Lana Del Rey wins also. Now we got Record of the Year. Record of the Year is when it's, it's awarded to the engineers, to the artists, the producers, masters, mixers, all of those people. Hey Ma, Bon Iver, uh, Billie Eilish, Bad Guys, Seven Rings, Ariana Grande. Still don't understand why I think you next was not nominated. Hard Place again by her. Talk by Khalid, his only nomination. Old Town Rose, Lil Nas X, Truth Hurts, Lizzo, Sunflower, Post Malone, and Sway Lee. This a lot of times is mm, given to a popular song. Uh Bruno Mars won it for all his songs. Um Beyonce won it for single ladies. I think it was, yeah, I think that's one Beyonce won for single ladies record of the year. So this can really, I think this might go to a popular person. Um, but I don't know which one. Khalid had a great song with Talk. Old Town Road was huge. So that might be the thing that makes Old Town Road not win. Truth Hurts was huge. I don't think it's going to win though. Sunflower was huge. Uh, I don't know. Who, who do you think? <laughs> I I I don't think Seven Rings is gonna win. You know what if Bad Guy? Bad Guy might slip up and win and win this one because it was such a huge song, and it is alternative, and this is not like a pop category. So I don't. I, I, do I gotta pick? Do I gotta pick one? Record of the year. Uh, hey mom, Bon Iver. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna just <laughs> probably the song that's least likely to win and that might actually win. Album of the year. This is the Big Daddy of them all. And you know, this is usually the category that goes to shit because they always give it to the wrong fucking person. I'm trying to think the last time that the right person won album of the year. Never. All right, Bon Iver, I, I, Norman fucking Rockwell, Lana, Lana Del Rey. When we fall asleep, where do we go? Billie Eilish. Thank you, next, Ariana Grande. I used to know her, her, seven, Little Nas X, Cause I Love You, Deluxe, by Lizzo, and Father of the Bride, Vampire Weekend. To be honest, y'all, because this category is always on some bullshit, it'll probably go to Vampire Weekend. Watch it go to they ass. Watch. I can't remember the year. I think I talked about it last year where it went to some random rock band. I think that was their only nomination and they end up winning. Uh, her. Used to know her. It could win. Um, just because it's not as popular. And they don't necessarily go with the popular choice all the time. I still find it weird they didn't nominate that in the R&B album category, but whatever. Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. Too mainstream. It's not going to win. Uh, Billie Eilish. Too mainstream. I don't believe she's going to win. Lana Del Rey does have a chance of winning because she's not as mainstream. She has a very big following, but she just ain't as mainstream as anybody else. And then Bon Iver. Watch it go to either Bon Iver or Vampire Weekend. They not... I, I would be very surprised if anybody popular wins this category, but I'm going to tell y'all, Lil Nas X, Lizzo, and Ariana Grande and Billie Eilish are not going to win this category. I think I'm going to give it to Vampire Weekend. Watch they ass fucking win this shit. I don't know, guys. Who do y'all think is going to win the Grammys? Are y'all excited for music coming up in 2020 this year? Are y'all even excited about the Grammys? Because I'm not. I don't even know if I'm going to watch it. I don't, I don't know. I don't really care. 
Maybe if one special artist decides she wants to make an appearance, I might watch it and do a performance of a new song off her album. Wink. Wink, Robin, you see me? Wink. Maybe, I don't know. But like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys at the Grammys. <laughs> oh yeah, before we leave, I forgot to say the best musical film is gonna go. Come on, Rocco. The best musical film is gonna go to Homecoming. I'll be very surprised if Homecoming doesn't win, but she probably, I don't know if she's gonna win the Golden Globe tonight, but she hasn't won any of the other categories, so she'll probably win best musical film, and this will be like her 400th Grammy ever or some shit. I don't know. Bye. What's up, guys? Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and click a link for some more content.